in our previous video we had already seen that if we start with acetylene and we add water to it in the presence of catalyst mercuric sulfate that is Hg2SO4 in presence of concentrated H2SO4 we are going to use Markovnikov's rule and we are going to add water to it and there is only one aldehyde which we can prepare by this method which is called as hydration of alkynes so which method am I talking about right now is hydration that means adding water to what to the alkenes to the alkynes okay and the alkyne the simplest one if you take and you add water to it you get acetaldehyde you get acetaldehyde and if you start with second alkyne or any other alkyne rather any other alkyl of your choice carry out the same procedure on it you are going to get ketone let us see how it happens so it's very simple just focus here so we're going to get ch3 c triple bond c ch2 ch3 for example i've taken this alkyne i'm going to add water to it in presence of concentrated h2so4 and mercuric sulfate as a catalyst markovnikov's rule will be followed here and we can see that this alkene alkyne sorry this alkyne is going to be di substituted because the double triply bonded carbon atoms are attached to number one substituent on the LHS and number two substituent on the RHS. So here there is no uh, you know need of thinking about what where should I attach the hydrogen and where should I attach the OH because both the carbons are of the same type. This one is attached to one carbon, this one is also attached to one carbon. So here you can attach the H uh, even here or even here. So in this case we're going to get two products. Okay let's talk about the first product the first product is uh, if i start putting the h uh, on this and the oh on this then what i what do i get so i get like this i get like this ch3 c double bond c ch2 ch3 and naturally if you're attaching new uh, atoms by a bond uh, one of the double bonds has to vanish so we'll be getting ch3 ch oh what do we get here is look at this we get a compound which has a double bond as well as an alcohol so it's called enol which is quite unstable and it will start rearranging itself in this manner look at this look at this so we are going to just shift this h as h plus and this double bond comes here it comes here means what it becomes negative this is going out as positive h plus comes here so the final product here we are going to get is ch3 c over here we get a negative sign so i told you h will come here so just let's write it ch3 ch one more h c ch2 ch3 and finally children you can see here that there's a double bond being formed over here one two three four five so we get we get pentane we get pentane three own as one of the products as one of the products Let's see the second uh, second thing what happens, what is happening to this. The second thing which we can do here is instead of writing like this, I may say let's put H over here and the OH over here. So when I do so, I'll be getting this CH3COH, double bond CH, CH2, let's write it in the condensed way, C2H5. Now again, this is enol. It is in all it's very unstable so it starts rearranging itself like this okay just you can you can understand what's happening here is the H is coming out as H plus the double bond is coming over here so what we get here is CH3 C double bond O CH CH and there's minus coming over here so this H comes over there so let's write CH2 CH2 CH3 look at this <clears throat> so what do we get what do we get look at this one two three four five so we get pentane two own so we get two position isomers over here of pentane own because uh, in one of the isomers the double bond always at the second position in another one it is at the third position so they are position isomers because the position of the functional group is differing over here so children that's all from this video as of now because these were the three simple methods which we have discussed in the next video we'll be talking about the next methods which will be little new for you thank you so much till then take care bye bye god bless